Hey, great idea bringing the couch out here from your den, Peter. Yeah, Lois and I dragged it out here last night for a little hump sesh, so I figured I'd let it dry. Couch. That's one of those words that if you say it over and over, it starts to sound silly. Joe, you need to take a class on small talk. You're not going to believe this. I'm in one. All right, kids. Here's your bacon. I called the paper towel. Ah, damn it. <laughs> you got to move fast when Meg's at the table, Brian. All right, well, I get the box when we have pizza for dinner. Mm-mm, it doesn't work that way. You got to call it when it's happening. Good morning, family. I'll be out front with the guys if anybody needs me. Peter, I thought we were going to try to get the garden going again today. I know, sweetie, but then I realized how stupid that is. Okay, bye. You guys are my everything. It's gone! What? What's gone? A drinking couch. Somebody must have stole it. What were you thinking? I'll tell you what I was thinking. I was thinking we lived in a safe neighborhood, but apparently I was wrong. Wait, you're saying you were... Oh, I get it. The Fonz can't say wrong. No, Peter, he's 70. He's having a stroke. Uh, uh, uh. This is quality work. Where did you get these? Via the web? Hey, listen, Joe, um, you think you can get us all guns? No, Peter, they're too dangerous. Besides, you can't just go get a gun. You have to be certified in gun safety. Go through an extensive background screening process. Got him. Oh, how'd you get him so quick? That was easy. Like pressing that easy button at the office supply store. Hey, Quagmire, you're a sex guy. You watch any good, uh, pornos lately? I mean, I, I guess. So what's your pleasure? What kind of movies do you like? I don't know. MILF stuff's kind of cool. What, what about you? Me, I have very particular tastes. I like a soapy bottom. Hey guys, you better come with me. There's some weird big nose guy hiding in the bushes outside some chick's house. My heart always timidly hides itself behind my mind. <gasps> ow! Ow! Oh my god, four men are beating me. My arm, I think it is broken. Your words have bewitched me. I need your arms around me. Come to my chamber at once. And bring pound cake. And bring pound cake. Peter, please come to bed. Enough of the community watch. We live on a very safe street. Lois, you wouldn't believe the things we see out there. There was a kid riding his bike while holding a tennis racket. For real. Come on. Let's fool around and watch a movie. I'll finally click that crackle icon on the TV. Lois, I am an unelected vigilante, and I take my job very seriously. Like Sirius George. What the hell? Hey, you! Step away from that table! Cleveland Jr.? Mr. Griffin, you shot me! Oh, my God! Okay, next is the Brown family. Oh, oh, my goodness, I'm, I'm so sorry. Sometimes I write descriptions of my patients to help me remember them. No, it's okay. Our last name is Brown. Oh, okay. Phew. Ah, then this must be Chubster Dum Dum. So, uh, how's he doing? How's he doing? How do you think he's doing? You shot my son! Look, Cleveland, I I'm real sorry. I, I thought someone was breaking into your house, and I, and I panicked. It was dark. I, I, I don't know why he didn't just say it was him. I couldn't hear you. I was listening to music. I went to turn it down, and the next thing I know, you shot me. I already have a bullet in my son. I don't need one in my wallet. You wouldn't have fired that gun if he was white. That's not true. I'll shoot anybody. Joe, give me your gun. Here you go. Hey, wait a second. Look, let's all just calm down. The police department has deemed the shooting accidental. Given the circumstances, Peter was within his rights to fire his weapon. And what about my son's rights not to be shot? I thought he had a gun. I never want to do anything to hurt you or your family. You're my friend. I was your friend. Now get out of here. You're nothing but a worthless bigot. Hey, does anybody know if Cleveland's coming by? I was hoping to apologize and collect his deposit for the community watch shirts. I talked to him earlier. He, uh, he, he doesn't want to be anywhere near you. Hey, look, they're talking about the shooting. So that's not really Quahog, it's just a big picture? Now, Mr. Brown, I understand you're trying to get the police to reopen the investigation. That's right, Tom. My family and I believe this shooting was a hate crime, and we'd like to see Mr. Griffin held accountable for his actions. Hate crime? That's crazy! I love all people! I love blacks, I love Asians, hell, I even love gay aborigine! Well, this is just great, Peter. Everyone in town hates us now.
The cashier at the grocery store told her to push on, and then she snapped her fingers, and now I think she's my new favorite lady in the world. I don't understand. I'm not a racist. It's well documented that my dream three-way is S. Apatha Murkison and CCH Pounder. Peter, this is a hot-button issue. I mean, you shot an African-American kid. Of course this isn't just gonna go away. Well, there's gotta be something I can do to make things right. I'll just have to prove to everybody that I'm not a racist. How are you gonna do that? Well, for starters, I'm gonna head over to the YMCA. There's nothing black guys like more than out-of-shape indoor basketball white guy. What are you doing? Lois, to show I'm in touch with what it's like to be African-American, I am gonna go to the middle of the town square, get naked, and paint myself brown. No, no, that's offensive. You can't pretend to be black. That's a stupid idea. What? It's a stupid idea! You're a stupid man! A stupid, stupid man! Why do you always announce them to me before you do them? Are you trying to get a rise out of me? Are you happy now? Is this what you want? Oh, no, it's not what I want. It's not what I want. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What the hell are you doing on my property? Look, it's time we bury the hatchet. So I brought a bottle of your favorite booze. Now let's just have a drink and put this all behind. Cigars! We can smoke them together, all happy, like a bunch of douchebags outside a wedding. Peter, get out of here. I'm never going to forgive you for what you did. Oh, come on. This will change your mind. Oh, my God! Quick, do something! <laughs> get your family out of that house! If they don't leave, they'll die! Round up your family and get out, or you're all gonna be sorry! Get out now! <gasps> oh, thank God, Joe. Are you here to give me the deposit for the shirts? No, Peter, I'm here to place you under arrest for the attempted murder of Cleveland Jr. What are you talking about? You know it was an accident. Yeah, but let's just say public opinion has shifted. Dad, I'll send you a cake with a file in it. These are just the owner manuals for all our kitchen appliances. Well, guess I finally have time to learn to reset the clock on the coffee maker. Y you're, uh, you're not gonna rape me, are you? Of course I'm not gonna rape you. I'm gonna make you fall in love with me. Then, we'll see what happens. Carter, what are you doing here? Hello, Griffin. I'd like to talk to you about these charges that have been brought against you. Why don't we go somewhere a little more private? Look, Carter, you gotta believe me. I didn't shoot Cleveland Jr. because he was black. Hey, you don't have to tell me that. But the media's out there making you look like a monster. All for exercising your constitutional rights. Grove is your monster. Look, I'm gonna bail you out of here, set you up with my lawyer, and get these charges dropped. Well, how are you gonna do that? Don't worry, I'll come up with a good story and they'll eat it up. Not like when I read my JAG fan fiction at the NCIS convention. And I was trying to get back into my house, and my neighbor, Mr. Griffin, shot me. He said he felt threatened by me. And that hurt even worse than getting shot! Aww. Your Honor, permission to hug the witness? Granted. I don't think it's lost on any of us that the laws are written on white paper. Yeah, white paper. Check your jacket pocket. I don't think it's lost on any of us that the laws are written on white paper. Hey, look, I'm just saying... What, there's nothing in here and... Oh, God, the bottom of the pocket's been cut out! Thanks, Brian. I was the mastermind behind this whole thing. Your witness. And isn't Jay-Z music? Yes. And doesn't he have the lyrics, I put the gun to you, I'll kill you, I'll chop you up, put you inside the mattress like drug money? <gasps> well, I was listening to Neil Sedaka's Hanukkah album. As well as this print ad for the Entourage movie. Why? I can't unsee this. Who is this for? Mr. Brown, please pick up this knife. Ah, he's got a knife! <laughs> <laughs> This isn't fair! They're making my son look like a common hoodlum! Joe, you're a cop! Do something! No, the soap covers everything. You might see, like, the very top of the crack, but that's that's not what it's about. How do you sleep at night? Propped up on pillows on account of my fat throat. If I lay flat on my back, I die. I need pillows between my thighs myself, and this friendship is over! Thanks for letting me sit in the back. I was flipping people off the whole way. <laughs> Get out of here, all of you. My son didn't do anything wrong. Everyone, everyone, listen. I have something to say. Cleveland Jr. doesn't deserve any of this. All those things you heard about Cleveland Jr. were lies. He didn't do anything to me. 
He's a good kid from a good family. I just got scared and I did something stupid. You heard him, other cops. Let's take him in. Wait a minute. Peter didn't shoot my son. I did. <gasps> Peter was just taking the blame for me. He's a good friend. Wait, wh where did everybody go? You want to make the media go away? Just mention black on black cry, though. Listen, I know you wouldn't have shot Cleveland Jr. on account of his race. You shot him because you're stupid. That's all I'm trying to say! And I know you don't have hate in your heart. You were willing to go to jail for shooting my son. You took responsibility. That's what's important. So, you forgive me? Of course I do. Oh, thanks, Cleveland. Oh, I'm gonna be coming for your ass. What? Well, what's that now? I'm saying it's on! You ever feel the cool steel of a switchblade pressed against your t- <laughs> Hey, Mr. Griffin, I'm just kidding. Or am I? You're gonna wonder about that, you fat bitch. See you later!